In this video we are going to talk about analyzing tracks in Traktor. So what analyzing does to track is it allows Traktor to extract a few very important pieces of information about the track. To analyze a track in Traktor all you have to do is right click on a track and click analyze. Now, sometimes some of your tracks can be analyzed and some of your tracks may not be analyzed. To know whether your track is analyzed, you can right click in the browser and pick the analyze section. Right now I have hidden it and to enable it, I'll just right click on enable it. And it will tell you which tracks have been analyzed and which haven't. So in this case, the first track right here hasn't been analyzed. So if I drop it into a deck, actually I'm just going to right click and hit analyze. And what this is going to do, this is going to analyze everything about the track. First thing it's going to analyze is the bits per minute, means what is the bits per minute on the track. And then it's also going to try to figure out what the key is. A key of a track really refers to a scale of the notes that dominate the track. So for example, a track will be in key F major if it uses notes F, G, A, B flat, C, D, and E. It's also going to try to set the gain of a track. A gain is basically um, something that makes all the tracks in your collection to be on the same level of loudness. Because sometimes when you play your tracks, you don't want one track to be very loud and another track to be very quiet or to be somewhere or to be jumping somewhere in this range. So what gain does, it makes sure to set to reduce or in increase the sound level properly so that tracks sound about the same level when you load them into the deck. It also sets the beat grid which I will show you in a second. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and you will see this little line crawl right here. What this does is that the track basically it's a progress of analyzing the track and now that the track has been analyzed I can load the track into the deck and you will see that what Traktor did was that it automatically analyzed this track it said the BPM of the track it said the waveform for the track And it also set the key of the track right here. Now sometimes I'm going back to number one. Sometimes the the beats may be off sync. As you can see sometimes the Beat grid does not align properly. Let me see if I can load another track that can that has been analyzed and has the beat grid aligned properly with the beats. So usually when Tractor analyzes tracks, it automatically aligns the beat grid properly to the beats. If the beat grid hasn't been aligned, then you can do it manually. To do some manual adjustments to the beat grid, let me just load this track that just wasn't very good analyzed. You can go to the grid panel right here and you can use these shift markers here to move the beat grid to properly align with 
uh, with the bits. And again, this is, I guess, would be a very, a very simple tutorial. But uh, you can see that the grid, that the bit grid is slowly moving to properly align uh, with the bits of the track. And I'm just going to move it until it looks about right. So you can see that the bit grid has been aligned with the bits. So keep in mind that in order for effects to work properly, and this might not be a good example of a track, uh, you have to have it properly bit gridded. And bit, grids will, bit gridding in detail will, will be covered probably in a later course. There are a few settings available for the analyzing of tracks in the preferences. So if you go to the preferences menu tractor and choose analyze options, you will see uh, what options are available. So the first option is set bit grid when detecting BPM. So this is the bit grid are those white lines right here. And this option is checked, so this will automatically determine the bit grid for you. And this right here store bit bit marker as a hot cue. So what this is, I'm gonna close out of this. So if you go back to the beginning of the track, this bit marker right here, the the begin the beginning of the bit has been stored as number one. So this is your your number one hot cue. So if you press number one on the keyboard will start playing from that marker right here. now as you saw it took quite a while for the track to get analyzed let me get another track analyzed here as this track has not been analyzed so let me analyze this track and I'm just going to analyze by async and you will see that it takes a while for the track to get analyzed Likewise, if I try to drop the unanalyzed track into the deck, you will see that there is no bit grid, there is no BPM for the track, and it will take some time to do this. Usually when you start DJing this track, it's a good idea to have every single track analyzed in your playlist or in your collection. And one of the quick ways you can figure out how many tracks you have analyzed and how many tracks you don't have analyzed is uh, going to a collection right clicking on your collection and choosing the check consistency and this will tell you how many tracks you have which means you have 31 tracks total it will tell you uh, how many tracks are missing there is no tracks missing you will have see how many tracks are, are not analyzed and this is the, the most important because this will tell you if there is, aren't any unanalyzed tracks so what you can do is you can click analyze and it's going to um, analyze those tracks you can also see exactly which tracks have not been analyzed and it will tell you exactly where those tracks are So in this video, you saw how to analyze tracks, how to see if your collection has unanalyzed tracks, as well as what analyzing does to your tracks, and you've seen how to enable this analyzed column inside your browser so you can see which tracks have not been analyzed. So this is it for that video.